comes together, it falls up. And another unbelievable page is about to be written as Orange Ball has a long road since that first little 1943 game before 3,500 feet. <laughs> In the unbelievable and glorious orange ball history, and you hear the sound of the the glory of the book, its glory of hero, its the glorious glare of this beautiful band of announcements. This message that is one of those college books that could explain to all corners of the world. It's carried around the clock and passed to the front of the universal team. The orange ball story is more than football. Florida's non-profit college ball today puts a year's planning and preparation into each year's study. The annual Grand Iron Cup is backed up by big-time children with small donations. The noted tournament for the winter once referred to the orange ball show spectacle as making everything else seem small time. The pre-game and half-time shows are a carefully guarded secret until the huge box of advantage move on to the we will write a back stage that can get 25 million more on their TV products on the popular television. The excitement of the winner of the Orange Bowl is named King Orange Jimmy Lee. This is the largest nighttime movie in Florida for half a million people who sit and spend the long behind the small blind big game boulevard fire. America and the world is most beautifully developed in two. In magnificent costumes and dream suits, the door and the light is unbelievably beautiful to us. The powerful speed of major cheerleaders from all sections of the country thrill the new year's eve of death.
1939. The Orange Bowl hits the big cup. Along with pictures of Paul Breeze and Pretty Cup, the Temple National Cup, the Tennessee Ball, Mark is holding the play, undefeated Oklahoma, the Miami Modest Little Bowl. Five thousand new feet are handed in a hurry. Five all of these help focus the national spotlight on Miami Bowl. Tennessee, of all of our things, Tommy Gun, White, and Stump, Oklahoma, and Young, and McCarthy. Under the country's top sports writer, Don Sand, is the late Damon Hunger for International News. Coach Bob Mayer's national champions lived up to its number one ring. One of the roughest games in history. The ball swung by George Hunter, also demonstrated his own American reputation as he ran and passed the ball to his second team to nothing victory. Great team of four it's a Peter Pan theme for the West Indies. In case you forgot, Peter Pan was on the five in two years. The Dutch played team for the Dutch and Dutch and Dutch. And for everybody in the stadium, good to good, led by all of our players. Here's Dutch all of our players. So that's what we see the line for the Dutch and Dutch. It's coming in and we're about to. Servicemen were admitted to it. Others participated in a patriotic theme. 1944. The Armed Forces Club is selected by the Armed Forces for shortwave broadcast all over the world. LSU won that favorite Texas event. The clock reaches 1946. The war is over. Visitors from Elsewhere here for and to enjoy the rejuvenated country. In the 46th it's Holy Cross playing University of Mind. Here's the final play with me, Holy Hill. The score time, 60. Holy Cross is in front of the ball. The Miami Charles is the tailback, Bob Buck, and Miami is the boss of the receiver. It looks like a fingertip complete. And Miami is pressing back to Miami's great Moses. But the ball gets away. Moses is in the air. And Miami is an orange for the safety man. The blue is in towards the three ball. The leap with an outstretched hand and the foul net intercepted and balanced with the ball on his fingertips. The ball almost gets away, but he recovers and heads for the sideline. In front of George Brown Mayer's Jim Brisbane, on the board, three more points in the field of Hockey Club, and the final down is up. But the rules allow a player to be completely part of that strike. So he continues his race to go. One play. He comes the left of Miami's Al Hunter. 